What's up guys, I'm Chris Dalty, aka Dalty Welcome back to the channel. Why does it always happen to me? I'm sure we've all said that many times before. So what we're going to do, we're going to review some footage from some Daily Race C and see if there's anything I could have done differently to avoid these incidents. So first thing to note, uh, the start seems to be updated. Everyone's through the chicane before the race starts. That, that's great to see, fantastic update. This particular one breaking now into the final chicane and I'm not sure there's a great deal I could have done to avoid that. I did see him coming in on the radar but it was I couldn't really do much to avoid it. However, we have got through the chicane okay, almost maybe just taking into account that we will have contact um, and just try and get through the chicane okay. In this particular one, uh, we're in, uh, being uh, attacked down the main straight here into turn one at Suzuka and we're going to go actually cautiously into the uh, turn here. We're not going to try and hang it around the outside. Um, that's always going to be a bad thing and we're going to live to race again. This particular one now, um, actually the cars are fighting ahead. So you need to see now on the exit is the final corner. Uh, we're going to choose to follow F1, uh, get his slipstream um, and try and put a move on this German driver. Um, and into turn one, it's going to be very chaotic, but we're going to be reasonably cautious and see what we can do to uh, minimize any time loss. So we're going to be cautious on the brakes here. However, the German driver pulls an absolutely fantastic move to send it back down the inside. Um, and yeah, quality stuff from the German driver. Great driving there. What we're going to do now is we're going to try and work through uh, these drivers ahead. Um, it seems there's a lot of people fighting, maybe a slower car ahead. Take the opportunity there to sneak down the inside of the uh, British driver. Um, so we're going to clear him. The German drivers are wide here, so we're going to put a move on to him as well, giving room on the outside as always. But this is where we get into a situation. I'm going to be on the outside into Degna 1. I probably should have backed out of this one. Uh, instead, I try and hang out on the outside, make a bit of contact just as we get to the, the corner turning point. And yeah, we're in the gravel. We've lost a lot of time there. Um, yeah, I should have really backed out of that one. Uh, in this instance, we're going to follow F1 down the straight now. We're going to look, well, we're not going to try and go for a move. We're just going to try and distract uh, the driver ahead. Um, and we're going to now follow him around this corner sections here. Similar situations to what we had before through these uh, these S's at Suzuka. Um, it's not really a place where you can really affect a pass, but you just want to be as close as possible. Um, leading into the next couple of corners uh, to try and get a move done. So we're going to try and offset all of our lines just to get better exit speeds. And we're going to get a much better exit speed through this corner here. And we could get alongside, we're actually going to back out of that one. Uh, this is what we should have done in the first instance. We got off the throttle, backed out of that one, follow him through Degna 1 and Degna 2 and look to fight uh, on the exit of Degna 2. We're going to get a much better run. Uh, go to the inside for the kink, but that's going to give us the outside for the hairpin. But we're going to break late and try and uh, hang it around the outside here. Um, and that's going to work out for us. Uh, that does require um, considerate driving from your opponent. Um, so shout out to F1 there. Great driving. Um, we can actually bring it home in uh, 12th position. Uh, not really able to make too much from the back of the grid. Uh, a bit late to the party for Suzuka this week. Um, I've only done well, three races and barely any qualifying. So we start at the back of the grid uh, quite a lot. But we're going to bring it home in 12th position. Um, now this race is my second race. And lining up on the grid now, we uh, we noticed that uh, Coque Lopez, uh, absolute legendary driver, world tour finalist, is going to be coming from the back of the grid. So we're going to have a big race on here. Um, this is towards the end of lap number one, um, a bit of side-by-side uh, -side action. We're going to capitalise on that, go to the inside of this driver, make sure we leave space on the outside. Now down the straight here, we're going to get a bit of slipstream from the British driver ahead. Hopefully that's going to work out for us, but he fades to the outside and gives the slipstream to the driver, our opponent. Um, and we're, what are we going to do into 130 yard? We're going to actually, we're going to back out of that one. Uh, sensible to back out of... Uh, moves into 130R, it's rare you're going to go side by side through there. Um, but it looks like some incidents have happened ahead, so we're going to capitalise on those ones and we're going to try and progress forwards now. Skipping forwards now, we are going to get a better run on this driver ahead into 130R. We're going to have enough overspeed to clear him 
um, and we're going to give some space on the outside but we let that uh, one fade out as we clear him off um, now here we have it Coque Lopez is right behind us and we need to be racing forwards um, to hopefully uh, keep him behind us so we're going to go uh, into turn one and to turn two uh, quite a nice line from us but you look on the radar Coque Lopez has really closed in quite a lot onto us um, a lot of carnage ahead it seems uh, a couple of drivers off the track we're going to be able to capitalize on these ones italian driver ahead is he's on dirty tires he's just rejoined and we're going to try and make a move happen a little bit of a bump draft for him there and a little contact and we're in the gravel that is race over for us now i really should have not gone for the overlap there it's thinking about it i should have just backed out that move stayed behind him and got him out of degna too maybe in this incident incident here uh, charlie 8 is going to go wide uh, we're going to get collected and again similar incident there um huge shout out to charlie 8 uh, he waited up for me obviously not intentional charlie 8's having his own crash and the outcome of that crash is it's out of his control really um but very gentlemanly to give me that position back uh, i'm sure both of us uh, didn't really want that to happen so huge shout out to charlie 8 um, here we are now we've got sun zero ahead of us and um, we've got a bit more pace than him through this uh, first section um, and we're looking to really try and make a move happen um, nothing really to happen through here you, it's almost you've got to position yourself for the next few corners again we've got a bit of an overspeed um, now we're going to just bump him through this corner here there's no reason to, to go side by side Degna 1 is not a corner for passing um, and Degna 2 is where he's going to get a little bit wrong we're going to get a great exit go for a carbon copy move on what we did before and we've just not quite got as much overlap we're going to break late uh, try and hang it around the outside but we get a bit of contact there I mean it was almost to be expected um, but it was a low risk move it's, it's quite slow speed um, so yeah low risk move there not a problem with a bit of contact um, unlike some of the high risk moves we've seen by hanging it around the out, outside of Degna 1 just here we're looking to the inside we're not really thinking about a move we're just trying to distract uh, the driver ahead and capitalise on any mistakes that might happen but we do want to get a good uh, exit from the second part of Spoon and we do that right now so we're in the slipstream of San Zero we should get enough overlap now to get the move done into 130R we're going to pull to the inside, uh, hold our car in the middle of the track and um, get enough overlap so he's got no choice but to back out and we're going to go uh, to the apex and get that move done. I'm uh, going to bring home in 15th position of the 16 drivers that were, were running. Um, absolutely shocking race there with regard to results. But again, it, it's all just small, small margins, small errors. On to race number three now. We, we actually improved our quality time. We put a few laps in. Uh, before the race began and got down to a 207.2 or something which is going to put us uh, in the top six uh, sixth on the grid um, and we're going to start the race now so now we're looking to race forwards the race pace that we've had has been it's pretty okay um, our qualifying pace isn't there I just haven't done any qualifying laps I've not even used a ghost to, uh, to, to qualify with but we're going to start the race in sixth position uh, looking to race forwards now so um, there are drivers who we've been able to match lap times with um, during the race. Um, but we'll see what we can do now from the start here. So we are closing into the back of the Spanish driver just fractionally um, through these S's for the first time. And everything's feeling really quite good. Um, Spanish driver's going to miss the apex there, but get the car back. And um, yeah, it's looking like we have the pace on the Spanish driver ahead. Just need to figure out where we're going to make that move. Um, certainly not into Degna 1 or Degna 2, maybe on the exit. Um, oh, that could have been a cut, but I think I'm going to get away with it. Um, better exit from Degna 2. It's going to work out for us again. This is a signature move now, it seems. Um, I'm going to be forced to the outside on Deg uh, Sorry, the hairpin. Um, that's not going to quite work out. We're going to be side by side. And on the exit of the corner, we're going to get run off the track. Um, that's going to set the scene or set the tone for this race. Uh, we're going to drop a couple of positions. Skipping forwards now, uh, following uh, into the hairpin again. So the Spanish driver's gone wide. We're going to give him space on the outside. Um, the problem is we're going to 
lose out he's gonna have this slipstream of the driver ahead we're gonna follow him through he gets on the hazards not quite sure why um maybe an apology for the last incident who knows um but going into spoon now um it's a very difficult corner on the outside just two wheels on the astral turf and you are gone um but now we're going to try and focus on the exit of spoon uh, to get a good run down the straight uh, british driver gets too wide on the exit of spoon and has an incident there skipping forwards now into degna one degna two we're almost a little bit too wide there carry too much speed and now we're in the wall now what i was saying earlier where uh, things always happen to me that mistake has put me in a compromised situation now we're going to get a tap from behind uh, get pushed wide so yeah i was forced wide on the hairpin but it kind of was through my own doing my mistake put me into that situation and uh, just here we're going to get a car to our inside and um, i'm going to back out of this one and let him pass uh, fully past so we can follow him through uh, degna one uh, i think that was the sensible thing to do um, and he certainly seemed to have good pace on, on this race uh, skipping forwards now to the final lap um, the way things played out um, i just kind of lost a bit of pace um, but things aren't done yet because we've got cars ahead with a problem uh, we're gonna have to go around the outside of him there's a car to my inside who's going to get me into uh, 130r and i don't think there's anything to do with this one i don't think i can really fight back um, the only option is to really send it in the braking zone into the chicane and he's defended that one we're going to go try and go to the outside late on the brakes uh, try and hang on the outside but he's going to get that blocked off to the inside there's a good defense there from the spanish driver so we're going to bring it home in eighth position and um, let me know what you think of these races in the comments below do you ever feel like uh it's it's unfair the way uh you've been treated on the track whether you've been bumped off the track rammed missiled do you think there's anything you can do to help to avoid these things in the daily races? Uh, let me know in the comments below. If you have enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and we'll catch you in the next one.